arbitrarily detained a former Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan, currently spending the 383rd night in solitary confinement in the Adyala jail, called off today's Islamabad rally, fearing another false flag operation by Pakistan's military government. As caravans of PTI workers and supporters headed to the Pakistani capital city, all entrances into Islamabad were blocked by containers. Traffic was backed up for miles with citizens condemning Pakistan's fascist government for the blockages. PTI had court orders for a rally in Islamabad, which was cancelled by the military government at the 11th hour. Despite being lawmakers and members of Pakistan's parliament, PTI legislators continue to face harassment. Members of the parliament belonging to PTI, led by the former National Assembly Speaker Asad Kaiser, have moved a privileged motion against government officials, including IG police and IG prisons, for their failure to produce MNA Haji Imtiaz Ahmed Chaudhary in the Assembly, despite production orders issued by the National Assembly Speaker. He has been missing for weeks. Additionally, Arif Mubin Jat, PTI's MNA, is part of official parliamentary delegation in Dubai but was stopped from boarding a flight back to Pakistan as his name was included in a no-fly list. Pakistan has still not been given approval for a $7.5 billion loan by the IMF. While the illegal, unrepresentative government formed through forced election documents complied with all the IMF's demands in the annual budget, it hasn't been given the loan it desperately requires for debt repayments. Imran Khan's PTI had written a letter to the IMF calling on it to withhold the loan until an independent audit of the election fraud. Inflation and economic stagnation continue two years after a soft coup took place. Chants echoed through the streets around the United Center in Chicago, where thousands of Democratic delegates and supporters gathered on Wednesday to officially nominate Kamala Harris as the party's presidential candidate. Palestinian rights protesters shouted, just like 1968, there's nothing to celebrate, highlighting the parallels they see between this Democratic National Convention in Chicago and the last time the gathering was held in the Windy City amid a violent crackdown on anti-Vietnam war protesters. Wednesday was the third day of the convention and the third day of the Gaza protests. The protesters chanted, DNC, your hands are red, over 40,000 dead, as they waved Palestinian flags while marching in the streets. Chicago is home to one of the largest Palestinian communities in the U.S. Democrats!